Welcome to the Fieldview Hints series of videos. In this video, we're going to mount a DVC 6200 on a rotary valve assembly. Before we begin, we urge you to read and follow all directions in the included installation instructions. If you do not have these instructions, please reference our quick start guide or the instruction manual online at the web address at the bottom of the screen. Before performing any maintenance operations, always wear protective clothing, gloves, and eyewear. Please follow all site requirements for safety. Before mounting the DVC 6200 on the rotary actuator, we need to ensure there is a cam on the actuator's lever. Here you can see we've got a cam and it's bolted onto the lever. We're now ready to proceed with the feedback sub-assembly. This is the rotary actuator window mount kit. The cam causes movement of the feedback lever and the rotary array. Notice there is nothing that touches the DVC 6200 positioner. We will now mount the feedback assembly onto the back of the positioner. Make sure you have all four bolts started. Then you can tighten them in a crisscross pattern to ensure that all bolts are tightened evenly. We now have attached the mounting adapter with the lever assembly to the back of the DVC 6200. The next step is to ensure that when we place this assembly on the actuator, the roller rides on top of the cam. We don't want it to get off to the side or underneath the cam. We want to make sure the lever is riding on top of it. Install the four mounting bolts, two on the top and two on the very bottom. Once you've got all four bolts started, you can tighten them all evenly. Attach the pneumatic tubing and now you're ready to calibrate the unit on this Rotary 2052 actuator. 